Hello and welcome. My name is Chris. My handle is Monte Vaca, and this is the third in my series of uh, Blender 2.5 video tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to look at creating an atmosphere like effect around a planet uh, using Blender 2.5's uh, smoke particle effect. So let's get started. Uh, if we take a look at my scene, all I've got so far is a planet that I've made just from a UV sphere and some textures I've got off the net. If we render it, we can just see it's got a texture and a bump map. That's about it. We can escape out of this. And I've also lit it with just some basic Hemi lighting. Um, first thing we're going to want to do to create this uh, texture. Oh, the uh, one other thing that I've done is, hang on, just a sec, let's render it, just make sure. Uh, the other thing I've done is if we uh, hit animate, I've done a quick little rotation for it, just a fast one. It should stop at like 120. Yeah. So, just to let you guys know that. So, let's select our sphere. And what we're going to want to do is create another sphere, uh, very similar size in the same area. Um, basically, in the exact same space, exact same area, exact same size. I've already done that, so I. I'm just gonna show you guys it. Okay, so now that sphere is right there. Once you guys have that and it's in the exact same spot and exact same size, what we're gonna want to do is scale it up. So hit S and we're gonna scale it up just slightly. Let's go into wireframe so that we can see this. It needs to only be a little bit bigger than the than the globe under it. Okay, I think that's okay. Once you've done that, uh, keep that selected and come over here to the physics tab. And we're going to want to do uh, under smoke, hit add, and then hit domain. This is going to be our domain for the smoke that's going to be emitted from our globe. Uh, I think for that, for that at the moment we'll leave. Let's go back to our globe. Come down here into the physics tab as well. Hit under smoke, hit add, and hit flow. This is going to automatically create a particle effect for it. Uh, we're going to want to go into our particle effect and take a look at it and do a few changes to it. First things first, uh, we're going to want a lot more particles than this. Let's uh, scale it up to about 2,000. A little bit more should work. Um, the lifetime of the particles, I found I've been messing around with it. For the effect we want, I go with about 2.5. And let's have the end frame around 160. Okay, so let's see if we play this. That kind of gives us an idea of what it's looking like. We'll run it, put it back into texture. Not quite the ac uh, the actual effect that we want, but it's a start. So um, before we go into tweaking that at all, we need to come here. Uh, select the domain, this sphere, come into uh, materials tab, hit new material, we're going to want to change it to volume, change the density to zero, change the density scale to three, and the scattering to three, hang on, three, okay, and we also want to come down here to lighting and change it from shaded to shadeless. Uh, you can keep the shaded if you think it looks better. I personally, for the effect that we're going for, I, I think the shaded looks best. Um, once that's done, we come over here to texture. We're going to need to add a new texture. We're still under the domain um, sphere. And we're going to need to change the uh, texture type to voxel data. Come down here to domain object, and we're going to want to change it to the actual donate domain object, and that should be should work. So let's test it. We get to get a certain amount of smoke out, and then if we hit render, should see the smoke. Okay, I've missed something. I'm going to pause and figure out what I've missed. Hang on, just a second. Hey, okay. 
Uh, I'm back. I figured out what we did wrong. So uh, if we come back to the texture panel under the domain object, uh, we scroll down till the influence tab, and we're going to need to check mark the the density box. We forgot to do that. So once you've done that, you can hit F12, and we should now see this is now a a picture of our globe with a bit of an atmosph atmospheric effect. We're not going to stop here because this isn't actually the the exactly what we're going for. It kind of has a interesting atmospheric effect, but doesn't actually have exactly what we want with it. What we're going to want to do is now we're going to want to add some force fields to it. So we come up here to add force field. I'm going to start with just a couple wind force fields. So. I'm going to grab this and rotate it. I'm also going to scale it a bit down. I'm going to pause and get this exactly the way I want and then come back, okay? Hey guys, okay, so I've added a few force fields to our project. Um, largely, I've got, it looks like one two and three different wind force fields just going in a few different directions and I've also got a vortex force field right there and if we uh, animate it we can see how it kind of affects the winds um, kind of pushing and circling there and if we pause it now and render we can see that the the atmospheric effect is now a lot less uniform than it was last time which is what we're kind of trying to go for so um, as you can see um, a lot of this stuff is going to be what you think is uh, the exact way you want it to look so you kind of just need to tinker around with adding different um, force fields like this vertex this vortex one I, I just stuck there and kind of tweaked around with the strength it ended up being at a strength of 7.5 and these winds have, uh, I ended up tweaking around until I got them to be the strength I wanted at least for this demonstration um, I will show you guys a few rendered uh, videos that I've done so that you guys can see because it does take a little while to render so this is one of the ones that I this one was done with largely a vortex a wind uh, force field and some turbulence and as you can see it actually has this is probably one of the better uh, uh, final products that I had I also had one that um, tried to be a little bit less uh, subtle with the effect um, it's okay I, th I think the the halo around the world is a little bit too thick but it's it's uh, from here it's all up to your personal preference figure out what you want to do how you want to uh, apply the vortexes the last thing I will mention is if you go if you pick the domain and you come down here you can turn on high resolution smoke and add divisions to make it higher and higher resolution uh, this might be a good idea once you've got it looking the exact way you want it uh, the one thing I'll caution you guys about is this really slows down the process even the baking process takes forever on this and rendering it just uh, you want to get everything perfect before you turn this on just to save yourself some time well uh, that's pretty much been my tutorial thanks for watching Bye.